Remember how I said in my Brian Cox Trilogy video I wasn't sure how I was going to do the Killzone series because I didn't own a PS3? Well, I bought a PS3. This is such a weird video to make, but why not? I need to learn how to make videos faster and more entertaining, so this is good experience. So yes, as I stated in one of my previous videos, th this one right here, go, go watch that one for more context. The Brian Cox's character was in Killzone 2 more than in Killzone 1. I was originally just going to play Killzone, but I realized that the video would probably feel incomplete if I didn't also play 2 and 3. The problem was, 2 and 3 are PS3 exclusives. So some of you are probably assuming that I just went out and bought the trilogy as well. No, no I didn't. I was not about to spend 60 plus dollars on a collection of games when I already owned two of them. When I got the PS3, I just ended up buying a copy of Killzone 3 as well. So yeah, I'll still be playing the PS2 version of Killzone. Like, I don't know if this was a good decision. The PS3 remaster might be better and not be clunky, but like, I kind of feel like playing the series how it was originally released seems to just be a better fit. It's always nice to see a game series as humble beginnings, or well, blocky beginnings. <laughs> but like, let me tell you guys how I got this thing, because this kind of look does not shower me often. So my friend came over and I'm like, hey, let's go to that retro gaming store with all that cool stuff in it. So we drove down there and lo and behold, they had two PS3s. They had the Chunko Classic for 130 bucks. I think it was like 120 gigs, 80 gigs, I don't know, I don't remember. And then they had the weird top loader with 250 gigs for 150 bucks. And KT was like, yo, that's a good deal. I got credit cards. I'm fine with more depth if it keeps my credibility to the material intact. So yeah, I now have a PS3. This one's called a Super Slim, by the way. It's got this nifty little door on the top that you slide open and then you put your games in there and you close it. It's pretty cool. But it is kind of a pain in the butt to take games in and out because I got to slide it out under and from the monitor stand and then put it back there. Yeah, my recording setup's a bit, you know, kind of wonky, but oh well, I gotta make do. This thing is a blast from the past. I didn't own one, but a few of my friends did, so I did get really used to the UI. Well, use, I used to be used to it. <laughs> that doesn't really make any sense. Whatever. It is a lot like the PS4 one, but it just kind of feels like everything's weirdly out of place. I also forgot how small PS3 games were compared to PS4 games. I'm sitting here playing a game that takes up like a gig of space and Red Dead 2 is over here just casually sitting on my PS4 taking up over 160 gigs! And like, Syndicate runs faster? It's so weird! It definitely feels different. I'm gonna have to see how the PS3 version compares to the PC one, which means I might have to end up playing Syndicate again. Ah, 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 get out of here! I'm gonna add this in here real quick. I think the whole illusion that the game is running faster has something to do with the FPS and the um, sensitivity of movement with the camera. But when I put these two clips together, like I showed like a little earlier, you can see that there does seem to be some difference in the PS3 one between the PC, and it does actually look like the PS3 one is moving slightly faster. So I don't know what the hardware or like the explanation is behind this, but the PS3 version does not feel as good to play as the PC one. It feels a lot clunkier, it feels weirder, the sensitivity you just cannot fix to where it's like, where it's like nice in your hand. So yeah, I don't talk about this in my actual Syndicate video, so I'm just putting this right here. So yeah, let's move on. Uh, I'm also unfortunately nervous because I feel like I'm on borrowed time. As of this month, this console's 10 years old, so who knows how much longer the hardware can hold up. But we'll push past that because videos need to be made. Ugh, god, this is th this is just so weird. If you had told me even like a year ago that I'd become this invested in Killzone, well, I probably wouldn't be that shocked, but I'd most likely wonder why I'm doing it so early on in my YouTube career. Well, past KT, you got really confident in your script writing, so let's do this. Come on, PS3, hold up for just a little bit longer, because we got work to do. And while we wait for the ordeal that is the Killzone video, be sure to do all the stuff social media wants you to do, like, comment, subscribe. And if you want to support me directly, you can purchase some little goods on my art shop, as well as support me on Patreon. I'll see you all in the next video.